folks. Welcome to another episode of Top Rope TV. This is the Fence Man here, and I'm digging back into the archives uh, from when I started doing video with CCW. I'm actually bringing out a match where it pairs off uh, a tag team versus each other. That's right. Tonight on Top Rope TV's first match. Yes, I said first match. There's going to be two matches, but the first match we're going to show is the Frat Boys versus each other. So... Let's get to it, and you get to hear that along with uh, the commentary stylings of James Frazier. Take it away. Let's get right to it. Well, this is unfortunate for any tag teams that would like to get a, a shot at the tag team champions. Essentially, at the whim of Jared Anderson, the tag team vision, division had been put on hold just so we could watch J-Cat and A.A. Ron fight. At least in training from time to time, you've got to practice maneuvers, get match strategy down. There's a trip! Oh, a that drop got, down actually worked for that, once. Exactly! Oh, and right oh, back he, at him. He faked him out there with a little bit raising up. And a Ron side headlock grounded here as J-Cat is allowed to get out of the hole. Ron, I think... What a monkey flip! J-Cat rolls right over in the knuckle lock, lets it go. I swear to God, J-Cat is inebriated. He was juiced up before he got in this match, not juiced up in the sense of 1980s World Wrestling Federation. He was all hyped up on Mountain Dew, is what he was. I do love me some Mountain Dew. I haven't found a, a drink that mixes Oh, there's the wedgie! Hey, hey, Ron, these guys are exploring places they've never been before. Oh, and he returns the favor. Look at the size of those granny panties. Take that off the ropes. Ron needs it with a hard back. Hey, hey, Ron, I'm over here. I don't know how much beer these guys drink, but I'm pretty sure they might be able to split a case. I'm pretty sure they could. I think a keg might have been a better offer. Spinning heel kick. Both men down now. This is a unique, unique goal for this tag team. They've been very dominant in the tag team division. To have to fight each other, I think something tells me Jared Anderson is trying to develop a rift between these two. I wonder if he has a tag team in mind to supplant them at some later date. Well, probably a younger tag team. I don't know how you get much younger than Frappa was. Seriously. He is all about the youth movement here at CCW. Similar to the new generation, um, but He's got to understand that I don't think he's going to find a team that's younger than the Frat Boys to come in here. Well, if you, if you want younger than college, where are you going? Is he scouting them prenatally? Hmm. Maybe scouting from his black book. I don't know. J-Cat now versus Suplex. Hard. Looks a leg on his partner. And Ron kicks out. J-Cat getting really winded here. J-Cat usually known for... Being a real rollerball around the ring, just bouncing off every every buckle and every rope. Ron, though, a little bigger, able to score with his right hands. I mean, if he hit him as hard in the face as he hit him in the gut, he might be victorious here tonight. Well, these guys are a team, right? I wonder if there's any opportunity for collusion here. Now, if you and I were to wrestle a match and we wanted to fix things, shall we say, what if you just whispered in my ear and said, well, why don't you just you know, stay down for that pin and I'll split that pin? You think that's possible with these guys? It could be, because if it was you and I, uh, I don't lay down for anybody. But if you made me that offer, I mean, let's say let's say you didn't feel like kicking my ass for once, and you made me that offer, I'd, I'd probably, I'd probably sort of pony up. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe two beers. I wouldn't say half the pace, but... Oh, come on, two beers. All right, maybe three, you know? Uh -huh. I mean, as long as you can get me a four loco... And We'll cast this and get close. We'll be set. Oh, okay. I think we can hook that up. What is this? Here comes Jango out again. What's he doing here? Grabbing a hold of brother A1 and firing right hand to him. And a right hand for J Cat as well. This guy is huge. Big clothesline just decked brother A1. Django, I guess Goat Boy wasn't enough for him early. Earlier in the evening, now he's taking it out on the tag team champions. Where did this guy come from? What possible agenda can he have here other than just spoiling everyone's fun? Is he is he younger than the Fat Boys? Is this 
Is this Drew Watts? Planning? Is Unless this? he's got progeria, he doesn't look younger than him. The reverse Benjamin Button? And I guess no one gets the beer now. What a buzzkill! Oh, he just slugged the referee! Right in the heart, too. That doesn't feel too good. Mike Sheldon is on his back, unconscious in the hands of Django. The only person feeling Django right is Django. He's proud of what he's done. Well, so much for Jared Anderson's special, special match here. For a can of, it's not a can of case of here. And no fun's going to be had in Marysville tonight, apparently, if Django has anything to do with it. You know what? It's good. They they kind of deserve it. I, I disagree with that. They are fun-loving young gentlemen. They are tag team champions. I mean, if you remember last year, the day after Thanksgiving, a day that you're supposed to say that you're thankful, my tag partner was hurt. And they still took on me two on one. They didn't cut me any slack. Well, I do believe you were facing J Cat throughout most of that match. Was probably you outweighed by about 200 pounds. So. Right, folks that was an awesome match and um I'd like to thank ccw and rob doxus for allowing us to come and uh, record that match and use it as part of our show on top rope tv and uh wow i was surprised at the end of that match man prince shango came out and uh inter interfered i don't know where that came from but anything could happen in ccw and um wow okay but anyway let's get to our premier match of the night, our main event. That match is featuring Frankie Picard, the God of War. So, without further ado, take it away.
out, folks. That was an amazing match. The God of War, Frankie Picard, is definitely an up-and-coming uh, superstar and definitely made a, a name for himself in the independent wrestling circuit. And um, it was a pleasure to have one of his matches here on Top Rope TV. And uh, thanks again to CCW and to Rob Noxious for allowing us to use it. And um, anyways, until uh, next time, keep your wrestling in a headlock. We'll catch you next time. Peace.